Today's project is going to be an oil service on a smart car. You're going to need an oil filter, four quarts of oil, and the topside oil changer. We're going to change the oil from the top of the vehicle rather than lifting it up to do it from the bottom. Here we are at the engine bay of the smart car, and here's what you're going to need to do the job. Here we got our oil filter, spin on filter, we've got our oil. Now we're in a hotter climate zone around here, so that's a 530 weight that you can use on a car if it's extreme weather. If you're in colder, more average climates, you're going to want to use 040 weight. And if you come over closer to the engine right here, here's the dipstick. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the dipstick out, and what we're going to do is we're going to drain the oil, suck the oil right out of the dipstick opening right there, the dipstick tube opening. So what we're going to do, we've got the top side oil changer right here, and we're basically going to insert that down into the crankcase. Get to where we hit bottom, make sure the valve is closed, and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw this canister into a vacuum. It'll take about 12 good solid pulls and it draws the entire canister into a vacuum. Now if you're doing this at home, it's kind of convenient. You can do your oil changes without lifting the car. Now I'm going to release the valve and it starts drawing the oil right up the tube. You let it sit for a little while and it'll just drain the entire engine contents of oil right into the can. Now when you start hearing the air coming through, that means you're getting close to the end. And there you go. Filter chain is going to be pretty easy. The filter is located right here at the rear of the engine. It's basically just unscrew by hand. That one we already pre-loosened a little bit. New one will go on. Same way. Make sure you always have a little bit of oil on that seal right there. I've still got oil from the old filter on that area. So what I'm going to do is just screw that right back on in that same location. And there we are, ready to go. Okay, to refill the oil, we've got a cap right on this valve cover. You'll unscrew it, put a funnel in there. I would start with three quarts of oil and then confirm the last half quart with a dipstick. And once you've got that done, road test, make sure you got oil pressure, road test, and you're done.